How's it going guys? My name is Ishan and in this video I'm going to be talking about three tech stocks that are absolute steals at these levels. I know it's all about being making quick money with Reddit stocks, penny stocks, SPACs, but this dip has provided insane opportunities to buy high growth tech stocks with actual fundamentals behind them. So get ready because these tech stocks are ones you do not want to be missing out on. With that being said, let's get to it. <laughs> So stock number one is MongoDB or ticker symbol MDB. This is actually a stock that I said would double when it was at $200 and in fact it did, running up all the way to about $430 before this nice drop. So congrats to any viewers who bought the stock way back. So essentially what they do is they offer a database platform that companies and people can use to organize and store their data. And I don't want to be getting too technical here, but their databases store data in a BSON format. Essentially, it takes up more space, but it's quicker and encodes and decodes data much, much faster. And so basically many legacy databases, which are offered by companies like Oracle, and essentially legacy databases are just very old types of databases. They are being replaced by companies like MongoDB. Basically, MongoDB offers cloud-based access globally, which essentially means that people anywhere in the world can access data real time at the same time without degrading performance and overwhelming the database. So they make it a whole lot more efficient and customers switching from Oracle to MongoDB have actually cut expenses by over 70%. 70% guys, that is huge. They have 70 million downloads growing at more than 30,000 downloads a day, 15,000 plus customers in more than 100 countries around the world and 50% of the Fortune 100. Like their customer base is just impressive. So the reason MongoDB will double is simply that technology is the future. As more and more companies become more data focused and have to store it in databases, MongoDB is an alternative to expensive options like Oracle. You see, legacy databases have a replacement cycle of 8 to 10 years or more, and as these come up for replacement decisions, it gives the company a chance to compete for those opportunities. In addition, IDC, which is a market intelligence firm, projects a database market to be $71 billion in 2020, growing at $97 billion in 2023. So over Overall massive opportunity in this space and you guys do not want to be missing out. This is a perfect time to take a starter position and hold. And just taking a look at their numbers, their revenue is growing at over 40 to 50% every quarter compared to say an Oracle whose growth is basically zero. So this is a company primed to profit massively off the continued push of companies becoming more data focused and data driven. So stock number two is Okta, which is the standard and workforce single sign on. Essentially, you know how we all have different apps, different websites and all these different online tools that we use. but with that, we also have a lot of different passwords. And so with that, we also might have to do user authentication and all that different crazy stuff. And so especially for corporate employees that use so many different applications, that can be a big pain. And so that's where Okta comes in. They have a dashboard where you can add any app you use from AWS to CRM and even Gmail. Through this dashboard, you can access all your apps with a single sign on that's secure and quick. And that is the key. It's secure and protects your passwords and that's why it's so heavily used in enterprises. As more companies look to move into the cloud, they're going to want to provide authentication and authorization for their legacy applications and Okta is definitely going to be at the forefront of those opportunities. They have a few more products but this is the core business. The stock recently dipped with the overall market drop but along with that, they acquired a competitor called Auth0 which allows you to implement secure logins into any application being built. So that is more targeted towards developers and the company has now been acquired by Okta for $6.5 billion. So as you can see, both are leaders in Gartner's Magic Quadrant and combined, they will be a true powerhouse in the space. So this dip is an amazing opportunity to buy some shares because this acquisition is going to be really good for them going forward. They have 10,000 plus customers, 7,000 integrations like Slack, CRM, Atlassian and way more and they also have a 121% net retention rate that signals that customers are paying 21% more than they did a year ago. In fact, in their recent 
recent earnings report, fiscal year 2020 revenue totaled $835 million and grew 43% year over year, with subscription revenue growing at 44% year over year. So if you can get this stock in the low 200s, that will be an absolute steal. Before I jump into the last and final pick, I know this is a video more about fundamentals, but if you guys want to learn technical analysis and learn how to make better entry and exit points so that you can become more profitable with your trades, be sure to check out the Gen Z Trader Academy link down below where my goal is to help you guys learn technical analysis to take your trading to the next level. With that being said, let's get to the last and final pick. So the last and final stock is Alibaba stock, good old Alibaba. When the stock actually dipped like a few few months ago after the whole Chinese regulatory stuff, I actually told you guys to buy, buy, buy when it was at around 230. The stock ended up running all the way to about 270. So congrats to anyone who might have profited off that video. So the first reason is that this whole drop because of Chinese regulation is completely overblown. Relations are already getting better and Ant Group is expected to finally IPO soon. Essentially, regulators are upset that Alibaba forced some of its merchants into exclusivity agreements which means that they can't sell anywhere else. And it may sound like a big deal, but actually according to the Seeking Alpha article, which is super in-depth, it shows that very few and select companies are actually in the exclusive merchant agreements. And even if those agreements were broken and they could sell on other platforms, the impact to Alibaba's China retail segment revenues is a mere 0.1% in total. And so that's why it's an absolute steal at these levels. The second reason the stock is set to explode is that this company is plain and simple undervalued. They're trading at 16 times forward sales, a six to seven price of sales, and they're growing revenues consistently above 30% per quarter with 40% growth this year and 31% growth the next year. They have one of the healthiest balance sheets with 250 billion billion dollars in assets versus 85 billion in total liabilities. So this is a company really set to explode from this dip. Then along with just commerce in general, China's cloud industry is the second largest in the world. And part of Alibaba's business that many people do not look at is their cloud business. Cloud revenue was 2.47 billion in Q3, up 50% year over year. And this part of their business will remain unaffected by any change to their e-commerce business and as China's economy continues to grow so will their cloud business. This year's cloud revenue will be nearly 9 billion and let's say their cloud business grows at around 30% for the next four years which I think is actually super low and conservative that's a roughly 35 to 40 billion dollar cloud business by 2025 which is huge and so as investors see that there's more to the business apart from just e-commerce this will push the stock much much higher. So guys, that's the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know down below what you guys think about these three tech stocks or any others you guys may be watching out for. And be sure to check out the Gen Z Trader Academy if you want to learn technical analysis and so much more. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Clocking out for now. Peace.